welcome to my kitchen. We're going to do a little bit of crafting today to make some doll necklaces that little girls can wear. And these are just fun and, and pretty simple. They're, this one's done with macrame and just doing some simple knots. And this one actually just uses a chenille stem pipe cleaner to twist around the other cord to make the doll. So what I start with is I start with a cord that goes from hand to hand because that's going to be about the right size to go around my neck, tie a knot, and have the doll necklace. There may be a little extra that I can cut off afterwards. And I have a bead. And then I choose another color of cording. Uh, I could, I've got some blue with me today and I have some purple and I'm actually going to use the purple this time. Now, to put the cord through the head, the bead that's going to be the head of the doll, I use a little pipe cleaner. It becomes my needle. I just use a piece of pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and put it through this top loop of the cord that's been folded in half. And it just pulls through very easily that way. And it would also pull off very easily, and that's why we want to make a knot above where we want it. So again, you can look at your head and see. I want it to end up about here. So let's make a little bit of room for that knot to go right below where you wanted to stop it. And pull the knot there. Then pull the bead up. I make a knot at the end of each foot, and this one's probably a little longer than I'm going to want it to end up being, but I'll make my knots in my feet for each of them. Try to have them at about the same place. And let's see how we're going to do on that. Just push that knot down to where I want it to be. And I can cut off the excess there. So I've got my feet ready. Now, to do the body of the doll, I start down by the feet and move upward. So this one is going to do the macrame cord, and I'm going to put the cord underneath here. I'm going to take one side and tie a knot in the end of it. And that one's always going to go in the front. So that's going to go in the front of the cord, and the other one is going to, once I've done my initial knot, which is just going to go around here, it's going to always go behind these two pieces of cord. So that goes in the back. This goes in the front. We have a loop here, so that's going to go through the loop. This is going to come through the loop, and we're going to just pull it to finish this knot. And again, I'm going to look and say, oh, this knot, this cord has the knot. That's going to be in the front, over, under, and through the loop that the other piece went behind. Okay, so we have the one goes in front, the other goes underneath, and we pull that through the two little loops that it forms to make the knot. And we keep going on up until we get far enough that we have, and once you start doing it, you can do it pretty fast, like I can do. You're gonna have the ends of it become the arms of the doll. So you just keep on going a little bit further. And I see where I want the ends to end up at. And I think here I have one side ending up a little bit longer than the other. So let's see if I can do one more. I don't know if that's going to, or not, it's going to be a little too short. So I'm going to form a knot at the end of this hand, this cord, to form the hand. And now I want the other one to end up about that same length, so I'm going to put a new knot in here and have that be about the same length here. And again, I will just cut off right after that knot. So now I have the body of my doll, and I'm just going to push that on up to be right up against the head. And we have our little doll set up. And then I'm going to take a piece of whatever color I want to use for the skirt of netting. And I have a spool here of this netting. And when I do that, I take about a yard of that. I mean, a yard. I take a foot. 12 inches, all right? <laughs> And I'm going to kind of remember where that midway point is if I were to fold this in half. And then I take a piece of thin wire, like florist wire, like that. And I'm going to weave that back and forth to form the skirt of this. Now you can also take a needle and thread and run that through. 
you're going to run that through until you've got all the way across like I have here then you're going to pull it and gather it up and once that's been gathered up you can take it around the doll fold that in half take it around your doll and twist it in the back And then these ends can be a little bit sharp, so you can either weave them into the cord or you can take the ends of those and just kind of twirl them up a little bit so that they're not, I can probably see it better if I use these uh, needle nose pliers. Or I'm just going to be curling it a little bit and then that secures it from having the point just sticking out there. And I just keep twirling it around a little bit. When I do that, I can fasten it and just push it on down. <laughs> All right, and you could also, what's better, but I didn't have it today, is to take the fabric coated wire because that's a much softer end and use that. And that's what I prefer when I'm working with young girls. But see, now we have our little skirt on, and then we can make a little crown. And you can do your crown with a chenille stem, which you can take a piece and just go up and down making a kind of W's, you know, up and down on here to make a shape like this and pull it apart to have your crown and twist that around up towards the top and in the back twist that together and cut off the extra pieces of the chenille stem. So I have a little crown, a little silver crown on this doll. The other way to do it is you can make little loops. These have little loops. You can hardly see it, but I would take a pipe cleaner and just twist it around a straw or a thin pencil, one twist at a time. Have that where I want it. Think about where the next one would be. Twist it around, and I would have this curling each time for my this crown. And that's how I put that one on around the top of the doll's head. Once you have done that, you can just take little markers, permanent markers, so watch that with your children, <laughs> and draw a face on. So you're gonna draw little eyes and a little mouth, maybe a tiny nose. If you want, if you've got the unfinished wooden beads, which are fun to work with because if you really make a mistake, you can sand it back down. I take a Q-tip and use some of my rouge and just uh, put that on to make the cheeks a little bit pink on the uh, pale wooden bead. If you want to, you can color on hair with your markers, or you could use um, little bits of yarn or anything else to make hair, feathers, whatever you happen to have. You can even use a yellow or brown or black chenille stem to make your hair red, whatever color you want for that. And then you have your little doll all completed to put on and wear. <laughs> So you won't lose your, your doll when you go places. And that makes it really fun. Now, these dolls are gonna uh, remind us of my princess, the one year my de devotions for my princess, which is fun. And then I also have a book that I wrote, and that's one that I wrote. I have a book that I wrote that's God's Girls, which has lots of inspirational crafts. It has the basic uh, directions to make the basic doll with the knots. Now, I mentioned we could also make this one with a chenille stem. So again, I take this, I'm going to get a bead, so maybe I want a, this one to have darker skin, and have the head, I put it on the wrong part. We're gonna put it on our white cord that I have, and I'm gonna put that through the head with the chenille stem being my needle, pull that off, and again, figure out where I'm going to want this to not to be, and this might be for a child, so it might be a little bit shorter to go over their head. And pull that up. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna take a gold chenille stem, and again, I start at the bottom, so I'm gonna start with the feet. One foot's longer than the other, I can just trim that down. And I can make the knots now or later, but I'm gonna start where the bottom of this body is gonna be, I'm going to fold that over the cord in each direction. All right, I'm gonna pull the chenille stem gently around the back, not too tight, and just keep bringing it forward around 
and around to form the body for this one. Now when I do this, if I want a longer body, I can just add a second chenille stem on, but I'd want it to go all the way or I'd cut it down when I was done. And when I get to the part where I think that's okay, I'm going to again push that body up to where the bead is. And I have my little body for this doll. And these hands, of course, because it's a chenille stem with wire in it, you can form and shape a little bit more. And again, I would take whichever color I wanted to do. I might even take two colors together like red and yellow and I would make a skirt for this doll too that they could wear. And I would do it the same way right now. I'm not gonna go ahead and go through with that, but that just gives you another way to make the body for little children who might not be able to do the knots. It's really good for older ones to learn how to do some knots. So whether you're doing it with the knot or you're doing it with the chenille stem, you can make a very pretty little princess doll and put a crown on it. So have a great day. And thanks for coming in. Remember that we are all little dolls to God, girls, and he loves you. So thanks for tuning in. Bye.